So it's six o'clock, about two hours away from the race. I gotta get a taxi, it's about a 40 minute ride. Hong Kong, 100, I'm doing the 33K. 1,500 meters of elevation gain with a bit of climbing is gonna be quite int interesting today. I got my mandatory gear kit, which is a whistle, blanket, a phone, and some cash. But let's see if we can get a taxi. So I have done this race 10 years ago. It makes me feel super, super old. And I'm doing the 10K at the Standard Charter Hong Kong Marathon on Sundays. So hopefully I can recover from this race. 33K today on the trails. I'm thinking about three hours because 1500 meters of elevation gain is about three hours, maybe a bit under. The thing about getting taxis in Hong Kong because obviously I lived in Hong Kong for five years, so getting a taxi in the morning, I always like have to pretty much face them against all the people that finish going out. Oh, here's one. Here's a taxi. Pak Tam Chung. All right, that didn't work. Hopefully we'll get something. Hello, how are you? Pak Tam Chung. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> all right. 6.55, one hour and five minutes to go. So something that I only started doing a couple of years ago um, was like a 4K or a 20 minute jog before every race. Do like, you know, some easy jogging before a race. Cause I used to run a lot longer. Like when you do 100K, you're like, I'm gonna save my legs for the 100K. Advice out there. If you're not doing a proper warm up, give it a try and it makes it so much better. And before you know it, it's go time, Hong Kong 100. Are you going to be on the course? I'm uh, just going to go this way down there. Uh, I'll give you a chair. <laughs> yeah. It's crazy, it's a Thursday today, right? It doesn't even feel like a Thursday. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Oh, uh, you didn't have that. You didn't have that. Muy grande, muy grande. Hoy es tu día, eh. Yeah, not much here. So not exactly a nice way to finish the race. Got a pretty bad strain, <clears throat> about 2K from the finish line. So I was actually leading, ankle collapsed, I fell down, had to walk for a little bit. Second place caught up with me. It was not a fun feeling knowing that I was so close to the finish line. I could see the final road as well. And then third place started coming up because we still had like a whole K on the road. And then somebody just like goes right behind you. So I had to sprint on my sore, sore ankle all the way to the finish line to finish second, two hours 50. So we still went like 15 minutes under the course record, but started pretty well. You know, ran with this young kid, this 20 year old Portuguese kid. Then at about 22 K got lost for a bit. So I waited for the second runner to come and that was the Korean guy, I wouldn't even try and pronounce his name. I've raced him a few times before, he's a really good runner. Probably lost a good minute, maybe a minute and a half there. But yeah, when I fell, <clears throat> you know, I lost quite a lot of time first getting up. Yeah, I'm still in a bit of a shock, kind of, because I got a couple of races lined up. So I got that 10K on Sunday, which is not a big deal. But then I got Osaka Marathon, which is booked for exactly a month from now. So I'm really hoping that I could continue training. Otherwise I'll have to cancel that trip. Um, but on the positive, actually feeling quite fit right now. This happened, I guess like 
10 minutes from the end. So that's two hours and 40 minutes into the race. So my legs would have been pretty tired by then. I haven't really done super long runs. I've been doing a lot of volume, but yeah, beautiful, beautiful course. Bit of a mixture of road. I got pretty much bang on 15, 100 meters of elevation gain on my watch. Probably Strava will tax me a little bit. Could have been nice to finish my Asian trail running season. Bit of a shame, but hopefully I can get this marathon done and then start getting back into proper trail running before Europe. June, which is not that far away, end of January already. Time is flying quickly. But yeah, let's see how this goes. I'm not sure if I'll be doing the 10K. Probably not the way I'm seeing it right now. Yeah, let's see tonight. I'll give you an update how that ankle is doing tonight. All right, it's um, Sunday, so three days after the race. I was supposed to race the Hong Kong Marathon 10K. Obviously the ankle is not amazing, so I'm not running yet, but I am gonna test the run, which is, uh, which is good news. Um, I woke up the next day and I couldn't step on that foot. I was thinking about going to the hospital, end up going seeing my friend Joe March at the Hong Kong Sports Clinic. He went super deep on it. It was so painful, but he just pressed my ankle all the ligaments out we got some shock therapy um and i've been actually like trying to push on it so i've been trying to walk as much as i can i've been probably walking about five or six k a day but yeah yesterday i did two times one hour on the assault bike i did a lot of strength work so a lot of like balance work which usually they tell you like rest ice so google said that this is six to ten weeks recovery but as i started moving more doing strength work on it going on the bike electric shock wave therapy keep getting better and better and better and i'm going to test the run so if this goes well i should be able to um, keep training for the marathon but yeah it's pretty cool seeing the hong kong marathon and i've always wanted to do it maybe next year but let's see how this run goes to Hong Kong Sports Clinic. 30 minutes, exactly 5k. I couldn't be happier at the moment right now. If you are experiencing any ankle problems, do try. Go a bit more aggressive rather than the usual way of resting, icing and compressing. I couldn't believe how quickly it healed from literally not being able to step on it two days ago, exactly 48 hours ago, to running 5k. I wouldn't say pain-free, but just a little bit of discomfort. A little bit of pain is actually good because it actually gets the blood flow going in the ligament, around the ligaments and the muscles, and in, like actually increases the healing process. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hopefully you have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.